We humans have always had a sense of what makes us special. Sure, some creatures are stronger, faster. Other creatures have mastered the skies or the seas. But we alone possess intelligence. What a piece of work is a man. How noble in reason. How infinite in faculty. In apprehension, how like a god. And we, the possessors of reason, placed ourselves above and apart from other living things. That is, until Charles Darwin knocked us off our pedestal with his theory that all species, even humans, are connected to each other through a long history of evolution. Darwin believed intelligence also evolved through natural selection and was not unique to human beings. Some dismissed Darwin's idea of animal intelligence as unscientific bias, the reading of human cognition into animal behavior. Darwin's peer, C. Lloyd Morgan, argued that experiment revealed a more elegant explanation, that all animal behavior arose from simple stimulus and response conditioning. His ideas influenced generations of animal behaviorists, from Ivan Pavlo to B.F. Skinner. The idea that animals are just stimulus response machines never really caught on with non-scientists. It does seem like this guy is thinking. That she is wondering. And that this one has a plan. And it is evil. A young primatologist, Jane Goodall, helped turn the tide on Morgan's minimalist approach by living with her research subjects. She devoted her life to the patient observation of chimpanzees in the wild. What she discovered ended the idea that only humans can think. I peered through my binoculars. I saw a hand reach out to pick a piece of grass. And to her amazement, that chimpanzee fashioned that blade of grass into a tool. Pulling it out from the termite nest and picking the termites off with his lips. Her discovery was earth-shaking. Up until that moment, it was believed that humans were the only creatures capable of tool-making. That was what was supposed to make us most unique. We were defined as man the tool-maker. Her mentor, Louis Leakey's response? Now we have to redefine man, redefine tool, or accept chimpanzees as human. What science did redefine was intelligence. Human behavior is contingent upon the number of responses emitted. As research began to reveal that human brains functioned in many ways similar to our primate cousins, this Philippine macaque as well as other animals farther and farther from us on the evolutionary tree. Whales and dolphins use sound to communicate complex ideas. Sea lions can grasp logic. And crows also make tools. Octopuses can learn to solve problems by watching other octopuses. Many animals can count. And scrub jays can remember places and past events. In some experiments, animals outperform us. Chimps have better short-term memory for numbers than humans. So it turns out the smarts we thought defined us are not unique to us at all. But don't feel threatened. We're still special, still at the head of the class. It's just a bit more crowded than we thought. <laughs>